Uh, I, I loved it. I, you know, I'm, you know, I look back on you know, decisions I've made throughout my career. You know, I was very happy that um, I decided to go to Europe because I, I could have just stayed with the Revolution probably my whole career. Um, I could have just been content to stay there um, you know, because I had success there. Um, I was from from that area, uh, so you know it, it made sense to just stay there and, and play out my career there. And um, you know, I had a starting position locked down and, and everything. So um, you know, when I look back at it, though, it was uh, the right challenge and the right step to take for me. Um, you know, at, at first it was tough. I I went to a team that was fighting relegation in Denmark and. Uh, it's unlike anything I've been a part of, really, because uh, it's it's crazy, you know, when you think that if the season doesn't turn out well and, and we get relegated, you know, I'm playing in the second division in Denmark, and that level is not high, and it wasn't the level that I want to be playing at in the peak of my career, and um, it's stressful when every game matters so much and every goal against matters so much. It's big pressure. And, um, you know, that was my first time being in it and, uh, you know, it, it was a battle, but luckily we survived it. Um, and then a couple of years later we ended up winning the league and, and that qualified us for champions league. Um, you know, so that was an unbelievable experience that I would have never, never had, obviously, if I had stayed in MLS. Um, you know, I think I really learned a lot about the game, learned a lot about myself, um, you know, being over there, not only on the field, you know, tactically, um, learning different ways to play, um, different styles, but also the mental game too. You know, when you're over there, it's it's a lot different. You know, you don't have that core group of guys that you had back here um, in in the states where you hang out off the field and things. It, it's tough as a foreigner sometimes to fit in, and um, you know, the language is different and. And fitting in with society and you know I think that's why a lot of guys don't do well overseas you know you end up in these small towns sometimes in the middle of nowhere and uh, it's it's a lot different than what we're used to here in the states you know you might have one grocery store there's no malls or or anything and um, boredom can kick in real real quick um, you know so I know that that's a problem for a lot of guys that go over there but um, you know it worked out for me and I, I was glad I went